So is the BMW i8 a time machine? Well, I kind of think so, because I'm definitely in a world that I've never been before. So I'm part of that generation that was raised on science fiction. We used to watch movies and see in comics these images of far-flung futuristic vehicles that we never thought we'd ever get to drive, let alone see on the road. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about the BMW i8 behind me. The i8 is so outlandish, so futuristic, yet, let's face it, we're here right now. It is a car of today. And talking about design, rather like being in an art gallery, sometimes you just have to zip it and take a look. Cruising on the highway, nice and smooth. You can hear the hum of the motor as it comes in and out. It's a full BMW. It has that build quality that just gives you reassurance in every way that you're in something safe and sophisticated. But kick it across to sport mode, and here we are on the racetrack. Immediately from the start, I've got to say that I can feel the way the chassis is planted. The steering, BMW always have a little bit of insensitivity in the middle of the weighting of the steering wheel, but the way the car responds to not only the transition between the motors, but my steering and throttle inputs is impressive. And of course, one of the key fundamental differences in this new world of hybrid technology, especially in a performance car, is energy reclamation. Many of the systems have their own subtle differences, but in the i8, every time you lift off, and then brake hard, the kinetic energy is transformed into electric power that is then stored by the batteries down the center of the car here. As I go down the hill here, I turn in. Right now, I'm relying as I come out on rear wheel drive effectively from the gas engine. As I really get hard on the gas, the electric ones at the front are almost pulling you, hooking you up on the exit of the corner. So you have this very fluid, very dynamic driving experience. What it means for you on the road is you'll have more fuel efficiency, you will have exceptional mileage, and you'll look damn good while you do it. I mean, let's just analyze going down here into this right-hander. Hard braking, yes, as I come off, that regenerative braking is over. There is a slightly harsh transition. There is a mid-corner balance, followed by a pretty bloody awful understeer to the exit. If that's the nuance of a car's handling, then drive around it, boy. But the direction change, thanks to the low center of gravity, is pretty bloody electrified. Very, very comparable with any of the other cars that I've ever driven fast around here. I don't know about you, but this is feeling blinking quick. So is the i8 a perfect rendition of our future? Uh, probably not, but it's a, an extraordinary statement of the intent of not just BMW, but the auto industry to entertain, delight, stimulate, make driving an engaging experience, no matter what the environment and culture enforce upon us. Remember, just like lessons learned in racing, regulation will always continue to restrict, in principle, the fun that we are supposed to have as humans. And thanks to the passion and brilliance of engineers and designers, we'll always find a way around it. And for me, that's what the i8 is. It's showing us that our future is an awful lot more exciting than politicians say it's gonna be.